Mailbag time. We've got another thing here from Fluke. I wonder what this is. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if it's your first time here. Knobs. Interesting knobs. Okay. So I've got these because it's got the numbers around the outside. I thought it could be handy for a bit of test gear if I'm doing a replacement knob or something. Sorry, but the, the lights are reflecting off them quite badly. It's got a clear centre though. I'm not sure I like that bit. Looks a bit ugly. But it's got a spline shaft. I don't know if it's any good for anything or not. But they were cheap, so I thought I'd get some just in case they come in handy one day. There's four of them. I don't know. I may never even use them, but eh, I've got them now. Here's some more. Obviously, I was having a knob day. No way, it could be misconstrued. <clears throat> so, here's five knobs. I won't get them all out because no point because all the same. So, it's a bit nicer. It's a bigger dial, it's aluminium there. It's got a plain shaft with a grub screw. Not a slotted screwdriver. Here we go. Plastic with a metal overlay. See what these are like, but yeah, again, for the same reason. I thought it might be handy one day. Thanks a lot to my Patreon supporters, anyone that supports me through the YouTube membership program. A lot of things help me to buy bits of mailbag, and bits of things to stock up on, and bits I can use in future projects, kind of thing. So I'm going to get these out, and you can see them for the bag, easy enough. A couple of zip sockets. 16 pin zip sockets. Well, I've already purchased some of these, they took ages to arrive. In fact, I don't think they ever did arrive. In fact, this is probably them. So I bought some more. After about a month, I got sick of waiting for these to arrive, so I bought some more. The second set I purchased arrived first, and these ones have finally arrived. So now I've got loads of these of sockets. I don't want to deal with them, but I've got them now. I think this might be from Iris Components. What do you think? It looks like it's a tube. Tube. Anything else in there? Yes, there is. I just can't get it out. I'll be right back. So these are parts I'm waiting for to fix my HP 3561A dynamic signal analyzer. There's a bit of a story behind this. Now I did a live stream two weeks ago now, almost two weeks ago, when I was working my DSA. I identified a couple of problems with it. The very same day I ordered the parts from Element 14. After four days, they still hadn't been shipped or even processed. So I was thinking, hmm, okay, well I want these parts and arriving later. I actually did a bit of an interesting thing here. I also purchased the same parts from China. They haven't arrived yet, I don't think. So the parts from China haven't arrived yet. I'm thinking, well, you know, China's usually slow, but in my 14 being really slow too. So I did my usual thing, is I buy them from a few different sources. So in my 14 only posted these after 10 days. Ten days after I did the order is when Element 14 posted them. So as I was waiting for Element 14, I thought, right, I'm going to go to RS and order some from them. This is a few days later on, right? This is three days, four days later. Um, and then the following day, they actually shipped them, right? So I ordered them in the evening. following day, they were shipped. And these come from the UK. These arrive first. Element 14 is in Australia. That's where their stuff comes from, which is like one day away, really. You know, you can get stuff in a couple of days, really. This stuff arrived first, even though I ordered it four days later. The Element 14 stuff hasn't arrived yet, and neither the China stuff, but the China stuff's not surprising. But I was thinking with Element 14 being so slow to process my order, that the China one might actually beat it. Anyway, OS Components 1. These are the last ones to be ordered, and they were the first ones to arrive. And that's from the other side of the planet. Good on your OS. So, so here we have some diodes. BZX79-C3V0. So these are 3 volt, 500 milliwatt Zener diodes. I need these for the HP 3561A because I found that one of the diodes in there which is generating 2.7 volts, not 3 volts. So I need to replace that diode. That's one of the faults it has. Although it didn't seem to be affecting anything, it's still wrong. It's supposed to be in 3 volts, so I'm swapping it out. And here we have some SN7406N. These are hex line drivers or something like that. I can't believe they are now. They've got an inverter on them, and it's like a driver thing, line driver thing. So, 
also found one of these is bad on the DSA. So now I've got the parts I need to try and continue to repair the DSA. I can replace both these parts and we'll see if there's any more faults with it. Up to six parts in that one already, so the next one will be seventh part, which will be me replacing these. And hopefully I can get it working. So if you haven't seen that repair, check out my playlist um, on my main page maybe, or even at the end of this video. I might stick a link up here maybe. I'll stick a card up there maybe, where I'll do the DSA repairs. So, so part six has already been done. Um, this will be part seven. With a bit of luck, that will be the end of the repairs. I've had to fix a few things on it. There could be more wrong with it yet. Who knows? We need to get these bits in there first. Yeah, I do lots of repairs, so if you've not seen those, you may see my mailbags, then you should probably check those out. You can do that too by subscribing. If you subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications, YouTube will maybe tell you that I've published a video you might want to watch. Maybe. It's been known to happen. So now we have the flute box. I'm going to have to use a real knife for this because it's got reinforced tape. Well, there's no hiding what's in here, is there? Here we go, it's an electrician's multimeter, it's the Fluke 117. This has been given to me at no cost by Fluke, so it's like a review item I'm going to be doing. So also, if you haven't seen my multimeter reviews, I've got a playlist where I'm reviewing multimeters, putting through the paces, checking the accuracy using my calibrators and references. So if you haven't seen those, then you may find those quite interesting. This is another one to be testing. 117 is quite a common little meter. A lot of people use them. It's got lots of features does lots of stuff so I thought this would be a good one to review as well. So thank you very much Fluke and thanks to Pomona as well who arranged for this review to happen. So again make sure you subscribe so you get to see the reviews. Stuff in the back there. Mm. So thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. Much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting me to help me buy items for mailbag or projects to work on, you know, bits of test equipment to repair that kind of thing. Any money that goes, goes towards that is helpful because it is expensive buying test equipment to do repairs on, especially if I'm not actually going to be using it that much or it's something I could do without. Or, you know, as in most cases, you can do without things. So having a Patreon supporters and people that donate to me via PayPal is, is very helpful. So if you're interested in helping support me and, um, you know, contribute to the channel, then please check out my Patreon page, my PayPal donation options, which are down in the description down there. Click on the Show More tab, this is down there. So um, thank you very much for not supporting me. I enjoy making videos, enjoy showing what I'm playing around with. It was just originally I was going to video bits of what I'm doing at the time. I was, you know, if I'm working on something, I'll do a video of that and slap it up, which was going to be rather random and erratic. And I've ended up basically turning my life into doing YouTube videos and buying things and trying to create content to keep you guys entertained. Yeah, if you want to support me, that's great. Um, of course, that would certainly be appreciated because this is an expensive hobby. So check out the playlist here, the playlist there, the subscribe link over here, and the Patreon support link about there, which helps to support the channel. Catch you later.